So today I am moving into the kitchen and uh, have people ask me about making um, the old burnt sugar red eye, uh, as the Germans call it, the old Hochzeit schnapps. We are going to use um, two cups, two cups, and six cups. So we've got two cups, we're old favorite, uh, 190 proof. We've got two cups of just straight up granulated sugar and I have six cups of water. So uh, with that, let's get started. I'm gonna fire up our stove. I try to use not, uh, I try not to use non-stick because it gets a little um, dicey sometimes in the melting of the sugar. Um, you probably can, but I always uh, generally use stainless steel and a stainless steel spoon. We get the heat going. Um, and we just dump the sugar straight in. And that's what we do, I'll spread it out. I have it in low heat right now. We're gonna turn it up to medium to get it going, but we want the sugar to kind of warm up evenly. And the sugar is eventually going to start turning into liquid. And we wanna be careful not to actually get it to smoke. We don't want it to smoke or burn, so to speak, but we do want to just melt and caramelize it. So that's what we're doing. All right, so here you can see, if you look, the sugar's just starting to melt like that. So now I'm gonna actually throttle the heat back a little bit. We're gonna go down to low, medium low. It's took a few minutes, but this is, um, sugar's just turning into a clear liquid and eventually we're going to get it brown. So we'll take some differing stages. You can keep stirring it. That's good to make it um, even with the heat, but you're gonna get a lot of buildup here. But don't worry about that. We'll get that off of there later. One other thing I do, sometimes you get these chunks. I try to break them up as we go along, melt them down, keep those chunks broke up. And you can see we're just getting a nice clear syrup starting here. We're eventually going to get that um, hopefully into a brown and not burnt syrup. So you can see it is continuing to melt and break down. We're starting to get color in it. So want to watch so it doesn't wisp any smoke or start smoking. That happens. We just want to take the pan off the heat quick and stir it a little bit and let it kind of cool for a, a, maybe a minute and put it back on. Okay, we're getting close now. As you can see, there are a few little chunks in there, maybe some undissolved sugar, but that's fine. Um, the end game for this is we're going to be dumping our water in very soon when we get it to the point we want it. So I actually have it off the heat right now. I'm just trying to get um, these chunks broke down a little more and get it um, darkened. I'll put it back on for a little bit yet. Um, but we're really close to adding the water. Some of these chunks and stuff will dissolve later if we don't get them now. It's just um, the less we can have, the quicker that process goes. So back on the heat for a little bit until we dump water in. Okay, so it's really starting to smell good, nice and sweet. This is like what you'd use if you're gonna actually make a flan or a dessert like that too, just um, some caramelized sugar. So I like to get it really brown, almost like pure maple syrup. So um, we're going to add the water in now. And I used to just dump it all in and while you can do that, this stuff will pretty much turn into concrete and you're gonna get a face full of steam. So I try to, as I start adding the water, crank this heat up and um, we'll add it in a little more slowly and hopefully that does the trick. So we're about dark enough here. Like I said, I like to kind of get it a little darker. I think it makes it um, a bit sweeter. So here we go. I'm gonna crank the heat up. And we're gonna give it a little bit here. It kind of turns into a weird gel. And that is getting really hot. Oh, some steam back on me. So again, you can dump it in quicker. It's just gonna kind of turn into a hard ball, which you can boil and, and um, get that later. Once we add the water in, we don't have to worry about overcooking it anymore. At that point, we can boil it um, and do that. So we're gonna just keep adding some more in here. I think I'm actually gonna add the rest.
So now when this is cool, it'll um, or it's still kind of warm, you can actually uh, give it to the kids because it doesn't have alcohol in it yet. So mm -hmm. it's a really nice, sweet treat. But you can see I got some chunks in here yet. Got some chunks in the side, and some chunks here. So what I'm going to do is stir and just keep putting this liquid up here in the side. And I'm going to crank the heat, get this boiling, and I'm just going to keep stirring it until this clears up. All right, so we got the sides are clean, everything else. We just are left with this beautiful, brown, very sweet, delicious liquid. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this cool off a little bit. Otherwise, we'll uh, vaporize off the, the alcohol. We'll let this cool, dump in our two cups of Everclear, stir it up, put it in a bottle, and um, it's ready to enjoy. Uh, we like to do it chilled, so make sure you put it in the fridge or freezer for a little bit. Stir it up and um, enjoy. So here we go. Um, this is one batch. It will make not quite two liters. Um, actually, this is a liter and a 750. So it um, makes about one and three quarter liters. Again, um, I like to chill it, uh, serve it cold, and um, I guess enjoy. Um, make sure you save some of your old uh, bottles, or I can also use uh, jars as well. Um, if I don't have anything else to put them in. So next step is chill and enjoy. Thank you.